Well, my friends, I've made it back to Jim Toff, and I've made it back to see this handsome young man, one of my favorite people on the planet, Dr. Kid Amur. If you don't recognize his face, this is the man, the myth, the legend. We've been through the factory, had the opportunity to see how the hand scraping is done after the grinding is done, the casting and the weight of the casting, the investment in making sure that the base of the machines, the quality of the machines, the precision of the machines last you not just five years or ten years but for generations but as time goes on you know what actually needs to change on a regular basis to keep up with today's technology software and you know what else is the integration of adapting more technology onto existing machines and that's what dr kid Amura and i are going to talk about today is if you invest in a kid Amura machine and you start making money which you will start making money you can add on more tools you can add on a palette change you can add on the things that you need and upgrade that software to keep up with your technology and proficiency inside your shop i don't want to steal all of dr kid Amura's thunder but i wanted to give a good piece of information a good introduction so you all know what we're going to jump into so dr kid Amura, yeah. your machines have been around for almost 100 years at this point. We're talking early 1900s. You are a leader, a world leader in quality. You are perfecting the art of what machining can be. But you also realize that people, when they invest in a machine, they might want to start with just the machine, yeah. then add on some technology, right. then add on more right. tools. And you have created the ability for people to grow and expand an existing machine within their shop, haven't you? How did you do that? I believe in this moment, every production shop is having mainly one biggest problem, which is lack of employee. But to you know, resolve the lack of employee, one biggest solution is through a mandate system to serve. But for unmanned system is really big money required to invest. But such big money should be re reducing risk to invest for the buyer. That's why we consider to think to basic standard machine to install first. Then the buyer or potential customer can get the proof to work effective or accurate after that in three years later or five years later they can add it to our system to serve to unmanded that's our idea now uh, we are mentioned to transform system but transform from standard machine to full unmanded system that requires the longevity of the design machine and the longevity of the CNC control as well. Therefore, we started the CNC control since 2008, but namely automatic MI back reading from IAM cameras. That back reading IAM camera control we started to sell since 2008. That definitely pioneer for IoT control base in the field. Then when we started IoT base control in 2008, the OS, our OS was Windows XP and Linux, but unfortunately Windows was no longer, no longer supported to OS Windows XP and Linux. Therefore, we updated to the Windows 11 or Windows 10 IoT base now. Now we can count in the 432 version. We mainly opening free upgrade service to the, our variable customer, not quantity customer as well. Yeah, I think that is a very valid point. It helps me understand, and I totally agree with you, just to reiterate some of what you said, Dr. Kitamura, everyone out there, we all talk about it every day, how many shops are suffering right now from not having enough employees, but the balance 
of investing in technology to automate a shop, the money that goes into doing that, when we're also, we know we need it because we're missing people, you are allowing people to take it step by step buy this machine, yeah. it's gonna last you a lifetime right. and add on as you go down the road. And one of your favorite subjects, Dr. Kitamura, I know this about you, is the software side of things. Right, right. You realize that as we look around Gym Talk, one of the most famous shows in the entire world, machines are becoming quality, but the software is where people aren't keeping up. Same angle, like a parallel line. Who, who going to be obtain the quality cannot to catch up the mass quantity now. But however, our history nearly 100 years you say earlier, we are mainly would like to serve the investment type, like the production good, who people invest in production good. In earlier nearly 100 years ago, machines was really production good. But in early 1970, CNC control adapted to the machine too. That became the consumable good, like the general consumer. Then it makes a short life product to adapt it to related, combined with control life. As you know, control life is very short life. In example, I said that we start the IoT base control 2008, the first XP and debit was no longer supported. Therefore, we need to keep upgrade the control. That's equal, we can serve the long life product. Then, to the result, we can serve the pre-unmanded system expanded to the future after the market. Dr. Kitamura, yeah. did you know that I was just in a machine shop yeah. that had about 40 of your machines for the last 30 years, and they can make anything they want, anything they want, and their machines, even now, are having the same accuracy yeah. that they had from day one. Yeah. From day one, the machine has the same accuracy. So in my opinion, you are 100% correct. The evolution is in the software side of things. Understanding how they work, understanding the depths of where my machine will be in its exact moment, and the connectivity, as you say, all in one smart factory right. to see what's happening inside your shop from head to toe. Our nature is we would like to serve to help manufacturing society, not priority to obtain marketing shares. Actually, like free upgrade service for control is not available in you know, many ma variable mass quantity customers. We need to be limited to quantity customers to serve. Well, Dr. Kitamura, yeah. as we can see, your booth is, everyone wants to buy your machines. Everyone loves the quality of the Kitamura machines, realizes that the adaptation of what can invest and change their machine shops. So I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you talk to all of our, these folks. Our nature is a potential customer to spend effective investment. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for your time. And I do look forward to learning from you again and thank, spending thank more time in your factory. Thank you thank so much, you Dr. Kitamura. For giving us opportunity to talk. Always a pleasure.